Okay, so this video is about Cladrastis kentuckia or kentuckia, which is in the family Fabaceae. This is their Kentucky yellow wood or just yellow wood. It's in Fabaceae, so it has a legume. The specific epithet, of course, means of or from Kentucky. And its native range is really strange. It's scattered around throughout um, the upper Mississippi River Valley. So Kentucky, as you would imagine, Tennessee, a little bit in North Carolina, and then a little bit to the the west of, of the Mississippi River as well in that same kind of area. And throughout that region it's really spotty, um, preferring moist areas, and I don't think it ever really dominates any particular forest community. But it has been picked up by the ornamental trade, which is why I am standing here in front of, I don't know, one of the buildings on campus with a Kentucky yellow wood. So the common name yellow wood refers to the wood itself. It's got a really good yellow heartwood, which was formerly used to make dye. It has no commercial value. It's kind of a small tree, medium to small tree. So the bark on this tree is very smooth, gray. We can see it's got some patches of lichen here that are giving it some different grays. It's got a little bit of texture to it. It's not completely smooth like holly bark. You can see there's little tiny ridges on it, but overall smooth-ish and primarily gray. This is planted really commonly as an ornamental. Well, not commonly as an ornamental, but it is planted as an ornamental, and that's because in the early summer, it's going to have some fantastic white flowers that cascade down on these big drooping racemes that are really pretty. So let's talk about the leaf for this guy. So this guy's got a really strange leaf. So we've got alternate leaves here. You can see one leaf per node, and these are compound leaves which is very common in Fabaceae, and with all of our other Fabaceae plants, we've got the pulviny, so that swollen part at the base of the petiole. But if we look here, what's weird about the leaflets on this compound leaf is they are arranged alternately. So this is the only thing we're gonna learn that has an alternate leaflet on that compound leaf. And it's gonna come down to a, a terminal leaflet at the bottom. So a little bit strange that it's got an alternate got alternate leaflets. If we look at each leaflet, they're going to tend to be a chunky elliptic shape to a very broad rounded shape almost. Overall a very a very wide leaflet. You can see this one's about the size of my palm and they've got some nice pinnate venation. The leaf margin is entire and the, the apex is acute and has a very rounded base. So if we look at it as a whole, alternate leaflets, pulviny, very large, ovate to elliptical leaves, very wide, with just a little bit of an acute tip. And this is your Kentucky yellow wood. All right, here is the fruit for Cladrastis. It's a legume, of course, because it's in Fabaceae. It's very small, but it resembles red bud in shape, where it's pointed on both ends. This one's a little bit worse for wear. So it's very small. It only has one one actual seed in this one, but I think you have up to two or three. My one is typical. It's very light, it's very papery. If you were holding it into the sun, I'm not in the sun, you can see it's see-through. So overall a very light papery legume. Very small, very pointed.